Hello everyone, that's in today's third and final update. We're looking at Mayday Bank Holiday Weekend for today's third and final update. We've already done the five-day forecast. You can find videos out on the homepage. Uh, and there's also written birds you get that by the buttons at the top of the page. We had a look at the next week's 10 days and the Beijing Climate Centre for the next 40 days as well. That's also on the homepage. And uh, now, of course, we're having a look at the Mayday Bank Holiday Weekend. Now, I've done two updates so far. The storyline with these uh, is that the very first one was really cool, unsettled, very unpleasant update for May Day Bank Holiday Weekend. The second one uh, was really quite a cool one, but it's a little bit more high pressure dominated. So I thought perhaps we were trending slightly in a better direction. I said we'll do update three, see whether that continued. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to start off on Friday, 28th of April. We're using the extended uh, GFS model, by the way. Uh, still really just using this for trains. I don't think we've got... Um, uh, I don't think we can use this for detail yet. That'll be more next week. So we're starting off on Friday 28th of April, uh, which is when most people are going to be getting away. Of course, if we're off to the coast and whatnot. So uh, here we are for Friday 28th. We've got high pressure out to west. We're bringing down this rather chilly northwesterly wind. That's probably bringing quite a lot of clouds as well. Up rare temperatures look cold and usually cold for, <coughs> excuse me, and usually cold for the end of April with the upper air temperatures. There's a band of rain coming into Scotland and Northern Ireland, but most places are dry, and I would think there would be sunny spells coming through however because the air mass is quite a cold one uh, actually the temperatures are very disappointing just ranging from around say 6 to 12 degrees uh, moving through into Saturday 29th of April that high pressure gets a little bit closer towards us the flow around it is still coming from a northwesterly direction but the high pressure is edging in uh, upper air temperatures are still really quite cool if not cold for time of year I would suspect there's a fair amount of cloud coming around the top of that high pressure as well. But again, you might get a few sunnier breaks. And the temperatures are just lifting up ever so slightly. Still really quite cool, quite disappointing for the time of year. But ranging somewhere around 8 to 13 degrees. Now, by going through to Sunday the 30th of April, look at this. The high pressure is actually sitting in over the top of the coast. So this is again, it's going in the direction that we have the update Two, so we are trending towards high pressure with the GFS model for this bank holiday weekend at the moment. So the high pressure is centred over top of the country. That brings lots of dry weather. And although our prayer temperatures are still very cool, I think we will uh, start to bring in more in way of bright or sunny spells. The only real rain to speak of in the very far north of Scotland otherwise. It looks dry. And temperatures are edging up a little bit more. So it might be up to around 14 or 15 degrees there in the April uh, sunshine. And then we go through to uh, May Day, Bank Holiday Monday itself, Monday the 1st of May, right at the very start of the month. And again, we've got high pressure through the country. It's trying to ridge up towards Scandinavia, but it is through the UK. So upper air temperatures are still on the cool side, but it's mostly dry across the whole of the country. Not too bad at all. The temperature... It's disappointingly cool, really, for the start of May, but even so, 13, 14, 15 degrees in that May sunshine would not feel too bad. What we would have to watch out for, however, is cold nights with an ongoing risk, probably, of uh, frost. But if you're not really a gardener or a grower or a farmer, you shouldn't be too concerned about that. And if you're worried about uh, what it could be like on the coast, you've got, um, you're going away for the weekend to the coast, these charts don't look too bad at all. Like, again, we're not talking about a heat wave. Looks like it's going to be quite a cool May Day back holiday weekend. But if it was to turn out like that, we certainly have worse because it's mostly dry from start to finish. So in some ways, quite similar to Easter, perhaps, which did have a lot of dry weather. OK, it's pretty cool, but there's plenty of useful weather over the Easter bank holiday. Looks like we might be going in that sort of direction again uh, for the May Day bank holiday weekend. Still time for it all to go wrong, of course, though. So uh, we've got a two more updates. The next update will be on Friday evening. Come back for that. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.